Hello everyone, I'm Ben Morland, Director of Education Space Consultancy, and welcome to the first of a 10 episode Teaching Space Utilisation Survey Data video tutorial series. This series will include 10 short episodes, each concentrating on a specific data analysis technique that I carry out when analysing teaching space utilisation data for clients. All of these data analysis techniques are done using Microsoft Excel, and you'll be able to download the spreadsheets used within each video tutorial by clicking on the download link below the video. Each spreadsheet will include all the formulas used, so there's no need to write them down as you go along. I hope you find these short videos helpful. Please do let others know by sharing via social media. Plus, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me. My contact details are provided at the end of the video. OK, so for this first episode, I'm going to start from the beginning and look at how to create room frequency, occupancy and utilisation results using Teaching Space Utilisation Survey data. OK. So now we have in front of us a typical set of teaching space utilisation survey data. For this and future episodes, it is critical that your data has the following elements along each column and row as shown here. So for the columns, we have room names, building names, site, space types, and capacity. This data must also have clearly labelled time slots along your columns for each hour surveyed. So for this data set, each hour was surveyed Monday to Friday 9 to 5. Therefore, we have an individual column per each of the 40 individual hours. As shown here, Monday 9 to 10, all the way up to Friday, Friday 4 to 5. OK, so next we're going to look at how to calculate the frequency, occupancy and utilisation rates for each of the hours, each of the rooms even, surveyed. The first step is to count the number of times each room was used during the survey week. To do this, I add a column to the right of the capacity column, right here, I'm right clicking, insert, and I'm going to label this hours, room, hours, rooms was in use. So hours, room was in use. Okay, and then in the first cell below, I'm going to insert the following counted formula. So equals count if open brackets and then select all my data to the right, comma, quotes, above zero, close quotes, close brackets, enter. This formula is then counting all the cells that have numbers entered that are above zero, i.e. the number of times the room was used during the survey week. In this case, for room A101, the room was used 29 times. Let's just slide to the left. As you can see, A101 was used 29 times. Okay, then I will simply copy this cell, go down to the bottom, and paste it in. And then you have the number of, the number of times the room was used for each one of the rooms. So for A102, it was used 29 times also. For A103, it was only used 24 times. Okay. Next, we want to know how many persons are occupying each of the rooms during the survey week. So to do this, I'm going to insert another column to the right, and then I'm going to label this one total recorded. Then in the first cell, I'm going to insert the following sum formula. So equals sum, and then select all my data to the right for that room. Close the brackets. And as you can see, this room was used by a total of 52 people during the survey week. And then it's a case of copying again to the bottom, pasting it in. And that pastes your formulas into all your cells, as you can see. Same formula in each one. And that's it for the sum function. Next up, I'm going to calculate the frequency rate. So, to do this, first we're going to add in three more columns. I'm going to label each of these frequency, occupancy, and utilization, just to save to doing all three later. And then for my frequency, I'm going to put in the following formula. So this is equals the number of times the hour was used, the room was in use divided by the total number of hours the room was available. So for this instance, we know it was available Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, which is a total of 40 hours. 
Okay, so then we've got that there, and we'll just copy this cell again, take it down to the bottom and paste it in. I'm just going to reformat this so you can see them as percentages. Okay. And make it a bit smaller. There we go. So you can see now that A101 was used 72.50% of the survey week, as was A102. I'll say one of three was only used sixty percent, and this is for all of our rooms all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so next up, let's calculate the occupancy rate, and to do this, I'm going to add the following formula: equals my total number of persons recorded divided by open brackets the capacity of the room multiplied by the number of hours the room is in use. Close brackets, enter. Again, I'm just going to copy that, paste it down to the bottom. I'm going to right click, format cells, change it to a percentage, and then just double click there to make yourself smaller and fit in size. And then you can see our occupancy rate for room A101 is 22.41% whilst the occupancy rate for A102 is 25.43%, etc, etc, et cetera, all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Next up, we're going to look at the utilization rate. And to do this, it's simply multiplying the frequency rate by the occupancy rate. Therefore, I'm going to put it equals and press control and click on that cell there. And then multiply and control, click there, press enter. And then copy that down all the way down to the bottom, paste them in. I'm going to format these again so we haven't got quite so many decimal places. Change it to two. Double click there again to make it smaller. And there you can see we have the utilization rates now for all our rooms. So in this case, we know that A101 has a utilization rate of 16.25%, whilst A102 has an 18.44% utilization rate. And as I said earlier, this is simply a multiplication of, of your frequency by your occupancy rate. So there you go. You now have your frequency, occupancy, and utilization rates for all the rooms surveyed during the survey week. If you want to see which rooms perform the best or the worst for each, you can sort by frequency, occupancy, and utilization rates. But remember to select all the data before sorting, otherwise you can skew the data. So to simply do that, you just click this cell up here the left click and you selected all your data and then to sort it so for this instance we want to sort by frequency rate lowest to highest I'm just going to go data sort make sure you click this cell here so my data is headers and find your frequency you're on values and we want smallest to largest if you want the other way around you can change it there and then just click OK and now you can see which rooms have the lowest frequency rate and which ones have the highest frequency rate. So this is, we have two rooms with the lowest frequency rate, um, F101 and G110, both having a 2.5% frequency rate. Whilst we have two rooms with high, the highest frequency rates, um, E106 and H105, both having a 90% frequency rate. And that's it for this episode. Remember, if you'd like to download the spreadsheet containing all the formulas, just click on the download link below. Also, if you'd like to ask any questions, please feel free to contact me directly using the email address shown on this slide, or feel free to leave your comments in the box below. Next episode, I'm going to be taking a look at how to calculate institution frequency, occupancy and utilisation results, so remember to check this out. Finally, if you found this video helpful, please do let others know by sharing this and other episodes via social media. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.